welcome 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 to my channel welcome to another video and today it's a great day it's, uh, to my subscribers to my viewers thank you welcome my name is vlog with rubes and today in this video i am here today and i have this container and it's a great feeling to see my subscriber description going up and i thank you all for being a part of it but today in this video i'm just at home and i feel like i am going to be making this video with some nupal cactus or optinia ficus indica which is in jamaica we call it tuna some people don't know what is tuna in jamaica some people say what is tuna yeah and they, they think it's a fish the tuna fish from the tin but no it is not tuna fish from the tin it is a fruit some people call it prickly pear in english it's called prickly pear in spanish it's called tuna in jamaica we say tuna tuna go pick up this is your child a tuna go pick up tuna for me i'm gonna put it in my hair to wash your hair because when i was a small girl i used tuna in my hair to wash it and it gets not just aloe vera, tuna. You use it in here just like how you use aloe vera. And eventually it make your hair come out very beautiful and pretty and clean. But gradually growing older, I know from a small longer time that tuna can be eaten. You can cook it with salt fish. You can cook it like how you cook chocho in um, rundown. Because in rundown you put with salt mackerel, you know, they they Rastafarian, they use, I don't know if they eat Nupal cactus. Nupal cactus is the same tuna. It's a fruit, right? And it's a leaf. We call it tuna. I believe the tuna plant is the chunk of it. It's a chunk of it that is grown. Maybe I need to do a video with that tree to see, to show some of you what exactly it is because some of you don't know it. But it is the chunk of the tuna tree or the nupal cactus. Cactus is a scientific word for it. And optinia or optia ficus indica is another word. Every country has its own meaning and its own prickly pear. You know, prickly pear. And it is spelled P R I C K L Y P E A R. Is the same tuna and um this is it this is what i'm talking about this is this is has so many different names every country have its own name for this tuna i call it tuna because i used to it as tuna but it has so many different names it has cactus it has prickly pear it has fit cost indica it has tuna tuna prickly pear Nupal cactus, but actually, this is great. Just not just for the hair. It can. It is very beneficial for your health. I'm not a health doctor, but I know a lot of natural. Because when you're a country person, you know what it is. Different, different country, different, different strokes for different folks. That's what it is. So I know that this is great for the hair. You know, you peel it. And I'm not going to put it in my hair because this is not the purpose for it today. Actually, you put it in, I'm just explaining how you can use it. You can cut it, steam it with salt fish. For a person that they are vegan, they steam this one with in, in coconut milk. Just like how you steam chocho -cho carrot and make a vegetable. Um what you would have called it, run down, need less vegetable, run, run down, those are the first person, the Rastafarian or the vegan, person that do vegan, and they steam this down with some carrot and um, susumba, with susumba, carrot, tuna, coconut, run down, onion, garlic, pepper, scallion, thyme. These are all natural stuff that I'm telling you because the, the, the powdered season, I don't think the real Rastafarian use powdered season. But I'm just telling you how this can be prepared. 
you can steam this down with salt fish salt mackerel red herring whatever way you want this can be steamed down and eat or you can use it on your hair in your hair as i said you rub it in your hair i'm going to be washing my hair today but i mostly use aloe vera because i have a lot of aloe vera so use aloe vera in my hair when i was a small girl this this two thing and you rub your hair because my hair was very taller than this but i'm not curing it that's why it's not so tall anymore because this is the length of it hmm? not paying it much attention but the thing is with this you rub it in your hair and the scalp you remove all dandruff from your hair all dandruff from your hair you don't need any shampoo when you're using this in your hair this tuna or cactus in your hair you just rub it in your hair strand by strand like part it rub it in a skull rub it and it's sudden and it makes it stay for a while and then you wash it out you hear black and pretty but this is not the purpose of me doing it today to what happened to what next you can do with it you will see what i'm going to be doing with this in my video because i am going to be making actually i made it already so i'm going to be using this thing i'm going to put it in this jar for with some water and i'm going to put it in the refrigerator and i'm going to drink it it's great for pain back pain this is actually great for back pain right you soak it in the water and you have it there to drink for a couple of days it's great for back pain and it's no joke it's serious because i'm not doing it because of the tv for my channel i'm doing it because i know it is good and these are the younger plants of it i think i'm going to be these are the smaller ones of it these are the younger ones i think i'm going to be using these today instead of this big one i'm going to put back this big one to stay here actually i can plant these too i can plant it on the outside because you pass these daily by daily and you said oh what's that maca maca thing because this thing just it has maca maca on it i don't know if i can find any maca part to show you they are painted they are painted and i have them here but i'm going to think this is curling up so i'm going to be using these i'm going to make medicine for myself because it is a great thing i don't want to steam it but i'm going to be using it to make medicine and i'm going to be starting now and i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to do it i'm scratching my hairs so all earth has it even seed in it you try the natural products and you're ill. I don't, the, the medicine, you notice you have to keep going back, going back, going back, going back, going back, going back for medicine. Actually, I am hypertensive. I am hypertensive and uh, I stopped taking the hypertensive medicine for a while. I'm going to be washing these and then I'm getting back to you and tell you how that story go. So... This is the water that I have here, and then I am going to be, let me fix the camera in a way that I can, it can be very visible. Okay. So this is the water that I have here, right? And these are the tuna. Actually, I usually take the, um, I usually take hypertensive medicine, and I got some hypertension medicine and when i got them these are very thin you can peel it like this they almost kill me my pressure went over 200 when i take those um medicine so i resort to taking natural stuff natural stuff so and my hypertension doesn't hurt me much. So what I what I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna be putting these tuna or cactus inside of here in this water. This remove all back pain. So you see like this part 
You scrape it like this. Scrape it like this. And you put it in your hair, like here. Put it in your hair. I'm going to be washing my hands after this. So you put it here, you see, as I told you. I don't know if you can see it. You put it in your hair like this. And you rub it just like how you do the tuna, single barrel. And actually I threw that one in the bin and I'm going to be washing my hand. Same way you do the, the aloe vera with the tuna in the hair. I'm going to actually work on my hair today. It's the same thing with this one. You put it in the hair and it's wash it and, and um, you don't need shampoo. It can make shampoo too. A lot of people don't want to tell you these things but you know. From you know, you know what is great. So these are vegetables. These are vegetables and fruit at the same time. I don't, um, it, it is very great for pain, I know. Back pain in general. So I am putting it in this bottle, in this jar. I'm putting it in this jar to soak. You can take a glass of it every morning or every bedtime. It won't kill you. It is great for back pain. Because many of us lift weight. When you lift weight and so on, you see people walking around with a back brace. You use this. And I'm going to be eating this one. And it tastes real good. You boil this and drink it. It has a slippery taste, but a normal taste. Whenever. It's done. You can't, it's not bitter. It just has a freshness about it. So I am putting it here. To soak. And I'm going to be putting it in the refrigerator so whenever we are ready, I'll be drinking it. So this is what I you can do with the tuna. It's very great. I think I need to put another one in it to make it a bit stronger. I'm going to put another one in it. I'm washing it. So I wash it and I'm back with it. Even even if you have worm, if you have worm, normally first time you put salt in the middle of the banana, right banana salt and give the children for worm. These are all natural natural stuff I'm telling you about. I love things that is not so normal, guys. I love natural stuff. And um, knowledge, knowledge is free. Knowledge is free. It doesn't make sense you know something and you don't share it with somebody else. Knowledge is free. So when you have knowledge, the best thing to do is share it with your friends, share it with your family. It doesn't make sense you have no something and then you keep it to yourself as a whole oh, I'm not telling anybody. Knowledge is free. Wisdom is free. Wisdom and knowledge is not something you keep, it's something you share with everyone. So that's it. I love natural stuff. Natural is more natural. You are is the more better it is. You can even, when it's done, with this go down, you can add more water to it. This is going to be so clean. Earth has a healing seed, guys. This is the purpose of 
have a need. A lot of people have these in their heart and they don't know the purpose of it. It's just there, there, there. But it's not just there, it's medicine. It's great for pain, I can tell you that. Because I used to feel this pain across my waist and I've soaked it before. Pain is gone. I don't know the pain gone because I tried this and I, I just don't try it. I know that it's great for the pain. So this is just a natural medicine anyone can take. Maybe you don't like the taste of it or anything, but this is medicine. I'm soaking it and um, it has many purposes. You can read up on it. You can type in on your phone, um, Nupal Cactus or Prickly Pear. And the benefit of prickly pear, nupal cactus, or tuna, or the up tuna, up, up ten, oh, I can't call the words so good, fictus indica. And it is spelled like this O P U N T I H E F I C U S I N D I C A. That's how this is spelled. The, the, not the bottle, the fruit that is in it. So anyway guys, this is just my video based on my making this medicine for myself to take and you can try it as well. It can be with your elderly people who's feeling pain in the knee, pain in the waist, because you know elderly people feel more pain than anyone else. Young people feel pain too. But at the same time, this is the medicine that you should try. And remember, miracle doesn't work one day. Miracle takes time. It doesn't work at the same time. It takes time. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment. Share this video with all your friends, your family. And this is just a lifestyle vlog, guys. So, take care and see you in my next video.